Say what you want about Dragon Ball fans. But animation quality surely wouldn't be something that tops their priority list, right? Yeah. Through the years, Dragon Ball's animation has been questionable at times, but of late, the animation teams have been caught on more than one occasion with their proverbial pants down. Often producing work I would aggressively criticize a young child for, it's no wonder Toei's animation studio made worldwide news when a certain, not naming names, episode aired. Sue, so, with magnifying glasses at the ready, Let's take a look at the work of a young animation team struggling with an impossible workload, pull the rug from beneath their feet, and laugh at them as they're falling. I'm totally not Mark, and these are the 10 worst animated moments of Dragon Ball Super's Battle of Gods arc. Number 10, Vegeta's Silly Face. Vegeta doesn't normally have a silly face. Usually void of silliness, in fact, with a skull so unyielding you would think it was tattooed onto his face at birth. At the end of the now infamous fifth episode, Vegeta appears to be, judging by his face, incredibly angry at this lounger for whatever reason. He could be stretching his armpits for all I know. That's a thing that bodybuilders do, right? But hey, I'm not one to judge. This guy's got muscles in places I don't even have places. Look at this man! It's insane! Oh god. <laughs> After a brief combo with King Kai, Vegeta sits up and this is his face. Oh Jesus! Ah! Number 9. The Krillin Spiracy. We don't see much of Krillin these days. Once a prevalent character throughout Dragon Ball Z in the mid-90s, times have not been good to the old Krill Dog. Showing up less and less in the series, it feels like he- Wait. He's shorter. Why is he shorter? Like, he's way shorter. Maybe this is the beginning. Slowly but surely, Krillin will shrink out of existence, and then? And then? It's Marin's time. Or maybe Toei doesn't like doing things on model, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh god. Number 8. Gohan fails but looks happy? Gohan's character has taken an interesting turn in recent times, no longer trying to follow in his father's footsteps, or anything interesting at all for that matter. News equally, if not more, exciting than the great Saiyan man has reared its ugly, deformed, boil-ridden head. Gohan is now a salary man. No longer training or keeping his strength up, to say his character has slipped slightly is like saying Hitler was a slightly mean man. In his first big moment of the series thus far, Gohan channels his ultimate form, rushing to defend his friends from Lord Beerus who is having a physical altercation with the reason my friends gave up on Dragon Ball Z. What's worse, Beerus doesn't even touch Gohan, instead throws the pink abomination with force at him. Gohan is knocked for a loop by the bubblegum man, looks way too happy about it, almost like he's laughing at her crushed dreams. Go on, you anus. Number 7. Gohan's stupid face is stupid. All aboard the Gohan train, because here we go again with another Gohan entry. I'm starting to see a pattern here, are you? Toei can't seem to draw the old fan favorite's face in any other position than neutral these days, so Gohan has become the Switzerland of Dragon Ball. This scene is important and at the very least should be touching. It's the announcement of Gohan and Videl's firstborn half Saiyan, Pan, and plays a crucial part in the continuation of this arc. This is the face he made. Isn't it just a dorp? It's creepy. It's freaking creepy! Number six, hands. Okay, okay, hear me out. I'm kind of breaking the rules here with this one, and this isn't exactly a Dragon Ball Super isolated moment per se, but these not hands hands have infected this whole list. Pick an episode and look at these things for yourself. Look at those things hanging at the end of their arms. You'll see. Maybe I'm being a little overly critical here, but when I watch an episode, that distracts the hell out of me. But hey, maybe that's just me, and I have some weird latent hand fetish I was unaware of. Either way, Toei Animation needs a hand. Oh god, did I write this? Number 5. Goku's Fat Head. I love Goku. He's my favorite character, always has been. It's not a popular decision, but you know what? Bring on the hate, I say! I'll just be sitting here watching Vegeta struggle until Goku shows up to secure the victory. My unrequited love for Goku aside, I was thoroughly entertained watching this fight between Goku and Lord Beard. Hey, what? No, 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 not you. I'll get to you. You know what you did. <clears throat> but in this battle, there were a few moments that had some interesting choices in animation to say the least. Permit me, if you will, to set the scene. <clears throat> Beerus, god of destruction, the most imposing force in the known universe, is toying with our hero. With the Earth's fate in the balance, Goku must master and channel as much energy as he can in this newly acquired Super Saiyan god form. Sounds good, right? Well, guess what? It's not this. This! What is this? Okay, I can kind of see what they were going for with a sort of fish-eyed camera angle thing. 
but it just looks so incredibly jarring and took me out of what was, and still is, a very good fight. If not, just for a moment. Number 4. Goku vs Beerus Screaming Contest Okay, I'm calling all my classic Dragon Ball Z fans here for this one. You know who you are. The grizzled vets of the Cartoon Network Toonami days. The dark days when patience was your only ally to combat the episodes of screaming, powering up, and posturing, and waiting for Goku to get out of that goddamn ta- Excuse me. What I'm trying to say is, we've been through the toughest of times, and in truth, Dragon Ball Super is much more forgiving than the original Dragon Ball series ever was. And that was obviously intentional with the release of things like Dragon Ball Z Kai. However, this episode was, in my opinion, really bad. The lead animator proving to the world that he doesn't believe in bones and that all creatures are made of some weird rubbery material. He looks to his wife and asks, What's a bone? She immediately starts crying and pours herself another glass of wine. In this Clash of the Titans, Goku and Beerus punch hands, they scream, and then they repeat. And when I say repeat, I mean they repeat these faces. As in, they make these exact faces with these exact frames multiple times in this episode. Now, I understand that this is like a common technique used in the animation industry in order to cut down on cost. But I don't think I was supposed to be laughing when I saw these faces somehow. In my opinion, it couldn't have hurt to redraw some scenes. Number 3. Vegeta's Rage Against Beerus Alright, now, I realize this could be an unpopular opinion with some, but hear me out. This doesn't look nearly as bad as the others, not by any stretch of the imagination, but it promised so, so much more, and could have been Vegeta's shining moment in the series. This is the very first time Beerus the Destroyer is put on the back foot and taken by surprise by an individual's strength. Vegeta is one of the most, if not the most, popular characters of all time in Dragon Ball. This is his first big moment, and if I'm being honest, the animation fell flat for me. Jittery, lacking in flow, and I gotta say, hokey. But the part that bothered me the most was that Galaga gun fired towards the end of the confrontation. What was supposed to be the climax to the greatest effort we have seen in the series thus far turned out to be, at least for me, hugely disappointing. More disappointing than anything I had seen in the series up until this point. At least from an animation perspective. A blast that once looked like it was capable of enveloping the entire world had been reduced to two straight lines lazily thrown together with some pink. It had no substance and a promising scene ended with a disappointing whimper. An energy blast with no energy in the drawing. Number 2, Vegeta's two left hands. People don't normally have two left hands. And if you were to draw one with such, I would scream at you for an unreasonable amount of time. Good thing Toy doesn't think that way, because if they did, this might not have happened. You are indeed looking at Vegeta with two left hands. A professional animator working for a professional animation studio drew this. Let that sink in. Number 1, Goku versus Beerus, King Kai's planet. Are we ready to begin? No, sir! We are not ready to begin because my client has not arrived! Hurry up! Move it, move it! Here she comes to wreck the day! Mystery! Sorry, Your Honor. Ah, oh, this scene! This glorious, beautiful scene! It's brought so much joy to my life! Said no one ever! And this travesty of trash goes on for the entire fight sequence. In making this video, I have come to know that Toei does do stationary well. But as soon as they move, this happens. Even having two left hands is more convenient. And who are the conductors for this symphony of disaster, you may ask? Well, thanks to the fine people over at Kaizenshu, you can take a look yourself. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Toei Animation has since released Blu-ray copies of this arc with the animation fixed. Now it looks like it's supposed to. How about that? But after all that's said and done, I have to say, I'm actually glad it happened. Some of the best Dragon Ball videos in years were made making fun of the subject or fixing it. It's really remarkable what some talented YouTubers and artists can do to turn a bad situation around. And that's my list, guys. Do you agree? Disagree? Or do you want to tell me how I'm wrong about God's gift to mankind, the greatest character in the world, Goku? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. If you want to see more lists like this one, be sure to subscribe for more. I'm Totally Not Mark, and this has been the 10 worst animated moments in Dragon Ball Super's Battle of Gods arc. Thank you so much for watching.